The hashtag Marcos Duwag trended on social media over the weekend. This was after Bongbong Marcos kept a presidential interview by GMA7 aired on Saturday. Vice President Lenny Robredo, Manila Mayor Isko Moreno, and Senators Panfilo Laxon and Manny Pacquiao accepted the invitation. Marcos, however, declined to take part. The reason, according to his spokesman Vic Rodriguez, it was due to veteran journalist Jessica Soho's alleged bias against the Marcoses. Rodriguez also insisted that Marcos' duty is to the Filipino people and not to a particular TV show or program host. GMA7, meanwhile, was quick to defend Soho from the allegations. The network noted that in particular episode, Soho boldly asked the presidential aspirants questions that needed to be asked. Laxon also defended Soho, citing his own interview with the journalist. Although not required, debates and other similar events that scrutinize candidates are staples of the election season. For some political analysts, Marcus' absence might be a political strategy. That, that's a possible scenario. Sinadya nila yan para pag-usapan. Uh, Sinadya nila yan para uh, stake ay yung masasabihin ng mga kalaban. For Professor Ed Tayao, it's also possible that BBM's camp is already confident as he continues to lead presidential surveys. Tayao also cited Marcos' previous interview experience with Soho. Sa pagkatatako sa mga nakita ko sa mga news feed, eh, meron na kasing experience ng interview before with uh, uh, with uh, Miss Jessica. No? Uh, and uh, that could have been one of the uh, factors, if not the most important factor for them to, uh, you know, reconsider being part of the interview. Both Tayao and Contreras pointed out that the public should focus on the candidates who showed up instead. Tanungin natin, ano ba yung masinabi nilang mali doon? Ano yung tama? We should focus that more on that rather than the absence of someone who didn't want to be there. Uh, nasa sa atin lang yung paraan at pagkakataon na uh, pagtimbang kung sino sa mga kandidato ang dapat naman na. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.